Hey all and welcome. My name is Sierra Cassidy and I am a Canadian smut author here to educate and entertain smut writers and readers. Today we are finishing up our series on advanced reader copies. This final episode is how to be a good ARC reviewer. This will be focused entirely around indie authors. I'm not going to be speaking to traditionally published ARCs because I have no experience with that. There are four factors that go into being a great ARC reviewer. Number one, follow through. Number two, willingness to communicate. Number three, timeliness. And number four, interest. Authors seek out ARC reviewers to garner social proof on their books and to get their work in front of new eyeballs. It's a great way for people to get new free books and to build a positive relationship with the author. Let's walk through each of the four factors that make a great ARC reviewer. Factor number one, follow through. The whole point of authors giving out ARCs is to get reviews. That means that actually reading and reviewing the book is the most important part of being an ARC reviewer. There are plenty of people who will sign up for an ARC and never download it. That's a good way to never get an ARC from that author again, especially if they're giving out a limited amount of ARCs. If you tell an author that you are going to post your review on specific platforms, be sure to do that. A general courtesy with ARCs is to wait to post until release week is over if the book is not your cup of tea and you intend to rate it three stars or below. This is not a hard and fast rule, but it does give a book its best chance. Now, if there is something terrible in the book, like unchecked racism, transphobia, etc., that you want to inform readers about, you are obviously free to review and post as you see fit, but please ensure that you've at least considered the next factor we're going to be discussing. Factor number two, willingness to communicate. Being an ARC reviewer is very much a case of if you see something, say something. If you see any issues with formatting, typos, or anything else that you feel that the author should be made aware of, reach out. A great ARC reviewer is going to let the author know something is a problem rather than letting the book be published as is. At the point that you are receiving an ARC, the book should have undergone some form of editing, whether this is just with beta readers and self-edits or with a professional, but things can still slip through depending on who is involved in the process. If you stumble across something that tempts you to one-star that book or write a rant review, please consider reaching out to the authors so that they have the opportunity to correct any missteps. Of course, this is working on the assumption that everyone is communicating in good faith. If you try to bring something important to the author's attention and they get belligerent with you, then by all means embrace that rant review because it's a safe assumption that they're not willing to address the issue. An author may not have time to make the changes before a book goes live, but if they're open and receptive to correcting the issues, please give them the opportunity to do so. ARC reviewers are very valuable for catching things that somehow made it through all of the other eyes in the process. Now, you should not be expected to offer editing services, and if the typos are numerous and egregious, you can simply tell the author that they would benefit from putting the book through additional editing before publication. Granted, that is not going to be something most authors want to hear, but it's important for them to be aware that whatever they have going on is big enough that it's going to negatively impact the reader experience so that they can make an informed decision about what they want to do. I've seen plenty of authors gracefully accept ARC reader feedback and make the necessary corrections to their work. I just hope that any author you ever have to communicate with about issues responds with equal grace and openness. Factor number three, timeliness. Reading an ARC and posting a review on time is another key element to being a great ARC reviewer. While it's better late than never, doing your read and review before release day is what's going to help build up the social proof for that book and encourage others to pre-order. If you apply for or accept an ARC knowing that you're going to be unable to read it in time, let the author know. If you're still fully intending to read and review just a bit later, 
most authors are going to be chill with that. Timeliness goes hand in hand with follow through. Some platforms that provide ARCs may punish reviewers for taking more than the allotted time to read and review, which is not something you want to happen. Indie authors that aren't using those services may keep track of reviews themselves. Those that don't regularly read the reviews may have a cutoff time where they simply stop checking. And if your review comes in after that cutoff, then you would be classified as a reviewer that does not follow through, and you may have difficulties getting ARCs from that author in the future. Not all authors check up on follow through and simply trust the reviewers, either because they don't want to put the effort into follow up, they don't have time, or they simply have given away too many ARCs for it to be viable. However, it's unlikely that you'll know which camp the authors you're reading for fall into. Factor number four interest. Please only sign up for ARCs if they are books that you are genuinely interested in. Be sure to check out relevant content warnings, ask for them if the author does not directly provide them, and feel free to ask questions to make sure that the book is going to be a good fit for you. Authors want you to have an enjoyable experience reading their work. And a little research goes a long way to tipping the odds in everyone's favor with a bit of fact-finding. One other important facet of interest is sharing the book. If you liked it and you know others that might be interested, spread the word. Tell your friends, share on your platforms, and do whatever you'd like to drum up interest for the book. Your author will be eternally grateful. That's all for now. You can find all of my books and platforms in the description below. If you have questions or suggestions for future episodes, please do let me know. And if you would like early access to these videos, you can join my Patreon where I share them with people as soon as they're ready to roll. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you soon for another episode. Bye!